But today we are going to do an unboxing video of the Ryobi P3105 uh, battery uh, soldering iron. Yeah, this is not the station. This is the soldering, just the soldering uh, iron. The soldering iron that goes on top of the battery so we'll grab a, a battery for that so I always want I I don't have I do not own a soldering iron I always want one and I need one so we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what it is so this is a 40 watt soldering iron and it goes up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit uh, iron holder for safety and convenience storage so uh, I like the I like the the wand that you have that the soldering iron is attached to it's it's good I, I love that they're implementing their uh, rubber molding into the areas where it really needs to be cordless convenience and allows you to take the tool directly to the workspace that is correct and awesome just like Ryobi's all Ryobi's one plus stuff that's the point of me getting this one plus system is to be portable I have one uh, Two, I have two tools that are corded, and one is, uh, and one is no, sorry, three tools that are corded, and one is gas. I wish that they made that they made a powerful uh, leaf blower for the One Plus system that can last as long as the uh, the gas leaf blower does, but that's not going to happen. All right, so let's uh, get to it. Let's unbox this. Alrighty, so let's see what you get with this bad boy. Yeah, that's one thing it doesn't say is how long it lasts. I'm pretty sure it'll say inside. All right, so this comes out in one, one full piece. You got solder. You get solder with that. So that's not bad. Just so you, they don't leave you with nothing. All right, besides what's in there, the box is empty other than the instructions. You can put that in the instruction bag. All right, so, and that's, that's garbage, recycling. It only comes with one tip. I thought it would come with an additional tip, but I guess I was wrong on that. So this is what you get. You get just a tip with it. You don't get a flat one. You don't get any other one but that one. I'm disappointed about that. I wish it would. I was hoping it would come with one more. All right, so let's untwist this. Let's see what happens. And there's your tip. If you want to replace that, you just slide that back on. And then put this back on and then twist it up. And there you go. All right, let's plug this in. Now you do have a, a power button. Let's see how long it takes for, I think it says it flashes green. A light indicator lets you know when the tip is hot. So let's see. Let's see what it does. And we are gonna time this since I pushed the power button. The unit itself looks cool though, I like that. I like that. All right, we're actually gonna test it on this plastic. It stopped. Wow, I could feel that heat. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's hot immediately. That's already that's already ready to solder. Wow. What was that? Like a minute or less? Seriously, look at that. Done. Very, very cool. Now this is, a, it's a cute little unit. It's seriously, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this on something.
Alrighty, turn that off. The heat gun, because we're gonna need, I'm gonna need to uh, heat shrink the electrical tape. All right, so let's heat that back up. Got the IOE heat gun. There we go. Let that cool off for a little bit. Much better. That's very in there. That's in there tight, which is fantastic. Looks good. Now I just gotta stuff the wires in there, and then tape that up. Then we should be good to go. So unfortunately, this did not work. I do not know why, but the circuit board is not reading the extra power that is uh, being given from the Ryobi batteries. It, it just didn't work. It performed the exact same as uh, it was before I did it. But what did work very well is the one, Ryobi One Plus soldering iron. Now, what's the model number for this again? Model. So the so the model number is P three one zero five. This thing is actually a handy little soldering iron. Now, it is significantly smaller than the soldering iron station, but it is a cute little, a cute little uh, unit. Now, be, uh, the soldering station is roughly the same size as this, as the rotary station. And as you can see, it is much, uh, it has a much uh, smaller uh, footprint than it does against uh, the soldering station or the rotary station because if you if you're in an area to where I'm at and you're you have the you don't have the additional space this this is a perfect little unit I, I love this thing I already know where I'm gonna put this so it was a good good investment I needed a soldering uh, a soldering iron uh, no matter what because I never owned one and now I do. And it does not use that much power when it comes to uh, using a battery because it, it heats it up within like within seconds of it being cold and it, it's, it, it, lasts a, it lasts a long time. So it is a cute little unit. It is a very cute little unit. I just wish that this worked because I did waste uh, two chargers, which I don't, I'm not going to use anyways. I will be ordering online uh, an additional uh, smaller uh, charger like this, you know, just so I could have a traveling charger uh, that has a small footprint in whatever I'm uh, bringing. So, so yeah, but this little unit is awesome. So, this has been the unboxing and demonstration slash testing of the soldering iron, and it did the trick. It does the job, and it is awesome. So that's pretty much it for this episode. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.